Boston Hospital, Dr. Shen Yansheng. Speaker is the uh, Sen Hong Tan. He is graduated from the Seoul University and he got a PhD and from the Seoul University in the section of the GI surgery. And today he will give a talk about the tip and trick in the laparoscopy single pole gadget of the Korean student. Please. Thank you for your kind introduction, Mr. Chairman. And it is a great honor for me to present this topic. Uh, today's content is uh, like this. Mm, as you know well, uh, reduced post surgery means uh, the number or size of TOCA is uh, decreased. <coughs> uh, according to last year, uh, Korean national wide survey, uh, most uh, prevalent uh, operation type is uh, totally laparoscopic gastrectomy, uh, about 28% uh, more than. 4,000 cases, and reduced both was performed in only 200 cases, and single both was even less, uh, almost 100 cases. I think uh, almost case of these 100 cases were performed by our center. In Korea, uh, reduced both and single both gastrectomy is performed in only few centers. Uh, probably less than uh, five centers. So uh, why uh, we uh, are in interested in this uh, difficult and sometimes bothersome uh, operation? I can answer that uh, question by this photo. You can hardly uh, notice the sky in SI patient. This patient uh, underwent SIPG. But uh, there is still a uh, lack of evidence about less pain or uh, faster recovery in Singapore gastrectomy. Uh, there has been only uh, 11 uh, paper on Singapore district gastrectomy uh, ever since uh, Dr. Omori's uh, uh, 2011 first uh, report. Among them, uh, six paper was from Korea and five papers was from our institution. However, the, as you know, see here, uh, the case number was uh, very limited, and also the active uh, involved surgeon are only Dr. Omori and me, uh, who performed the simple gastrectomy in more than 200 cases. Regarding total gastrectomy or proximal gastrectomy, uh, there has been only three. Uh, case report. Uh, case number is only two one uh, four. Uh, personally, I uh, uh, report is simple total gastrectomy uh, and uh, single port D two distal gastrectomy total gastrectomy and simple D two total gastrectomy first time. Uh, let me introduce the current status of single port upper GI surgery in Korea. I can summarize the history of single port gastrectomy <coughs> like this. In July uh, 2011, Dr. Omori uh, reported the first uh, single port distal gastrectomy. But this was not a pure type single port. He used uh, these uh, two assistant port. And the operation time is a little bit longer, more than 300 minutes. And our institution, my uh, senior professor, Dojun Park, uh, first report uh, post-sign model. Uh, before, the, before the clinical application of single post surgery, uh, we conducted uh, this uh, clinical study. Uh, so we, in this study, uh, we concluded that uh, single post surgery is safe and feasible. Uh, at that time, we uh, used one another assistant board. That told me used two assistant board. After that, uh, we reported our clinical first two cases in March 2012. The operation time was decreased, but still long operation time. 
compared with uh, multi-port laparoscopic surgery. And then we first uh, performed a pure type single port DCI gastrectomy and total gastrectomy in November 2012. After that, uh, Dr. Kong uh, from China reported SID with a D2 in the section. But uh, when we look at the photograph carefully, uh, we cannot say this is a, a true, uh, true uh, D2 in the section. Again, uh, we reported 30 cases of first uh, pure SIDG. Uh, at this uh, report, we could uh, reduce the operation time up to 170 minutes with uh, low complication rate. And the reconstruction is most uh, difficult part of simple dysregistrations. We think uh, intracorporeal B1 Delta shape anastomosis is not consistent procedure at this time. So we develop um, uncut UMI gastrogeostomy using an unaided stapling technique. I will uh, explain later <coughs> and report it in JAX. After a short period, again, Dr. Omri uh, reported the uh, modified Bilos 1 using a linear stapler. He called this technique intact. Maybe he admitted he, his uh, previous was one reconstruction is not so easy procedure. After that, uh, we reported our first uh, comparative study between pure SIDG versus uh, PLDG, which showed the similar operation time, uh, 140 minutes, and better uh, short-term outcomes. Again, we developed uh, the new technique for D2, uh, this is a gastrectomy, so-called uh, mid-pancreas mobilized, uh, so, uh, which can permit uh, the consistent 11P uh, lymphonosis section in simple to get uh, surgery. Beyond uh, this uh, progression, we are now evolving like this. We introduced a uh, laparoscopic scope holder. Uh, instead of a uh, human scope disc, it can provide very uh, stable field view, like a uh, lower tip. Uh, field view. Uh, up to now, we performed uh, more than 150 cases uh, with uh, this proposal. We have uh, less operation time, less EVL, and more consistent operation time in solo surgery. So uh, we will report it soon. And we also perform solo SIPG and SIPG and also SIPPG. Uh, the esophagus uh, diagnostomy in single post surgery is extremely uh, difficult. Um, extremely uh, difficult, uh, but when we use a laparoscopic scope holder, it became a very uh, reproducible procedure. Uh, uh, recently, uh, we did a uh, solo uh, pure uh, single port omega harvest for breast reconstruction after uh, nipple sparing uh, skin skin sparing mastectomy. I uh, uh, did a uh, single port total omega harvest for uh, through the uh, uh, epigastric uh, tunnel. So this is a uh, uh, harvested omega So uh, it will be a very good uh, operation. Uh, which can maximize the cosmetic result. And finally, uh, we did, uh, uh, I think this is our first time, a uh, pure single port resection of low my gastric bypass for the patient with uh, morbid obesity. So up to now, we performed uh, 346 cases of single port surgery, uh, which is the largest case number in the world. Our indication of single port uh, surgery is limited to early gastric cancer because uh, we don't have any oncologic long-term uh, survival data. I will show you a short uh, video clip of SIDT. So first, I uh, perform left side uh, partial omentectomy like this. This is uh, a lesser set and uh, I move to a uh, right side. At this moment, I uh, reset, uh, including omentoversa. So it's called 
this procedure is called uh, right side omelette vasectomy. This is a right gastric plug bay, ASP bay. This is a one of a uh, landmark uh, uh, number six A here. I will skip uh, because there is uh, no time. So number six, uh, I know this session is like this. And at the supra canal, uh, this is uh, clear. And then during means uh, transitive like this. And then uh, we move to a uh, supra pancreatic like section like this. You can see the FPV is very stable. It's not like a single post surgery. I first uh, reset the left gastric first. This is a UV shape of the post section uh, provocated by the Kanaya. This is just a uh, your prospect of this section. Uh, this is a recent uh, typical example of SIVC patient in our hospital. The operation time is around two hours and we don't insert any uh, foley or any drain. And uh, right now, our uh, wound is on the closer is like this. Uh, we uh, apply a surgical bone so patient, the patient uh, 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 post post op one day, uh, they can shower. And usually they are uh, discharged at post-operative day, uh, fourth day, uh, <coughs> according to our ERAS protocol. Last year we held uh, SMVH syncopic conference on single hot gastrectomy. In this simple gym, I uh, performed a live solo single discharge gastrectomy. Uh, single port discharge in our institution uh, nowadays very very uh, reproducible procedure uh, within two hours. Uh, at that time, uh, I um, uh, performed this surgery with uh, this uh, scopoder. This is a, a live uh, recording video. This is a, a left gastric blood vessel, a splenic low pole. This is uh, one of the uh, technical tips uh, to access uh, to the 4SD uh, lipid A here. Uh, first, uh, clear the great culture side so you can uh, access the splenic low pole uh, without assistance, like this. So you can see the left to guess right before that's here. This is a splenic vessel. So, so this is a live demonstration and this part is a pancreatic area. And uh, resect the stoma. It takes only uh, one and a half hour and reconstruction is uh, like this. Insert the stoma uh, stand into the jejunum first. All the uh, procedure manipulated by uh, myself. There's no assistant. And I move the scope. This is a, a lemon stoma. A little bit of obese patient. and. like this and stay clean and the comma on anterior side is closed by this uh, Vuya Sutra. Because uh, the uh, uh, field view is very stable so you can uh, uh, suture uh, very easily even in uh, single tooth surgery. <coughs> and also last year we founded a reduced surgery study group so called uh, Redus Redus. Uh, Dr. Dojun Park, my senior professor, is a chairman, uh, and uh, I am a reactor. We held our uh, first uh, reduced uh, conference in August 2016. Uh, next year, uh, we plan to hold the international symposium uh, like uh, this one.
Uh, let me answer the today's topic. Uh, this is my tips and tricks on Singapore's gastronomy. I will explain uh, one by one. First one is wood size. Wood size is uh, the bigger, the bigger, the easier operation. However, uh, up, to, up to how much? Uh, I'm a, a Singapore uh, fundamentalist, so uh, I insist that a single port incision should be uh, highly inside of uh, umbilicus. So this uh, incision size uh, around 2.5 to 3 centimeter. However, uh, sometimes it is uh, very difficult to operate with this uh, small wound. So you can increase uh, wound size, so we can call long incision, long incision single port gastrectomy or you can insert, use uh, additional mini trocars or conventional trocars. This one is not a uh, simple surgery. Uh, we now uh, we uh, classify this surgery as a, a reduced port surgery. When we uh, think about the shape of the wound, uh, transverse uh, shape has more uh, space to move. So some doctor in Korea make a transverse, transverse incision to achieve this wound shape. Uh, some doctor uh, today, uh, this morning, uh, uh, some doctor uh, show uh, this uh, transverse uh, transverse incision. However, the cosmetic result, I think, uh, not good as uh, vertical transform the kind of season. This wound is uh, usually made in muscular man. It's a uh, body cut shape, so it is a little bit uh, difficult operation is expected. Uh, this uh, transverse uh, white uh, shape wound is usually made in uh, woman, uh, so very, very comfortable operation is uh, expected. One more thing, uh, you should make the formation of percep and scope in the rotation view. So, a uh, scope should be placed uh, to the center position and the right side uh, instrument should be uh, placed in the right side, uh, left side instrument in the left side uh, space. This is also very, very uh, important. <coughs> Uh, if you have difficulty in pure single port gastrectomy, please don't hesitate to insert additional port. Mini port, uh, two or three millimeter port, uh, is excellent for final cosmetic result. Luckily, I have no experience of need for additional troca insertion up to now. Actually, first uh, single port gastrectomy was assisted by this two. Uh, mini uh, trocars uh, like this. If you don't have a uh, mini trocar, please uh, insert conventional 5 or 10 or uh, 12 millimeter trocar. Uh, this one uh, trocar can change the uh, uh, difficult operation to a very easy, comfortable operation. We call this kind of surgery uh, as a video, video spot surgery. Uh, Flat of scope uh, is mandatory to perform single port gastrectomy, I think. Uh, this is one reason why a uh, pure robotic single port gastrectomy is impossible now. It has only a uh, rigid, uh, rigid scope. So I don't explain, uh, explain uh, further. 3D Flat of scope is best option to perform uh, single port gastrectomy. It can possibly take the Suprapancreatic lymphoma dissection and reproducible uh, reconstruction. Uh, next tip is a uh, scope holder. I think uh, if you accustom to a uh, scope holder, it is uh, better than an uh, experienced uh, scopist. This is a photo of one day in May 2013. Uh, this picture showed that I was not comfortable and a little bit upset because uh, my scopist uh, was inexperienced and also he, she has a little bit of big body. So
So I was uh, pushed away nearly for this uh, design. And she had the scope uh, a little bit very weird, weird way with her two hands. So, uh, furthermore, uh, if a scope piece was a uh, resonant or internal, single port gastrectomy became very, very hard and uh, need a long operation time. This uh, small experience scope is, I think, good to Singapore's uh, gastrectomy. She is very, very experienced, more than seven years. Uh, with this scope I can finish a single port gastrectomy at the same time as multiple laparoscopic gastrectomy without less fatigue. However, uh, this scope also has some demerit, uh, such as because she is a human, such as a tremor. Uh, fatigue uh, crashes all the time between the scope and instrument. Uh, and I want to perform a persistent operation all the time, not influenced by other people, like this uh, scope piece or other factors. So I started to uh, find a laparoscopic scope holder to replace a uh, scope piece. And then finally, find this laparoscopic scope holder. This is a flexible scope, so my left hand is maintained into the uh, port. I just uh, uh, manipulate a scope by my right hand, like this. You can see very uh, stable field view. This is a, a middle pancreas mobilization for proper LMP lymphoma dissection. This is a splenic artery. I think uh, it is like the stop manipulation of robotic system. Uh, this is a little bit uh, brand new scope holder from storage company. This uh, uh, scope holder manipulated by uh, pneumatic uh, compression. So it can hold, uh, this is a rigid scope, uh, more uh, heavy, heavy scope. So it can hold a heavy rigid scope and can be conveniently manipulate like this. There is a one button and immediately fixed. And this uh, uh, scope holder is also used uh, as a uh, assistant. Energy device is very, very important. I think harmony is best for fine supra-pancreatic lymphoma dissection in gastric cancer surgery. This is a final view of lymphoma dissection in pure SIDG. Uh, this uh, suprapancreatic lymphoma dissection should be performed by step by step. The right UCG of uh, ultrasonic energy device is very important. Harmony has a temptation effect, as you know, so it can permit uh, next uh, dissection planning. So this uh, active blade should be faced uh, outside uh, like this to reduce uh, some injury and small um, jaw bite within uh, three activation is very very important not injure the uh, major vessel this is a, a spray artery uh, this breast is a cold one uh, uh, from Olympus company. Another uh, important uh, concept is slip bleeding. Uh, all the intraperitoneal organ has a membrane peel, so when you cut the overlap, uh, overlap membrane like this, you can injure the uh, <coughs> vessel behind the membrane. This concept is a uh, slip. Sleep video. This is an example video of Dr. Hiki from Japan. There is a uh, one membrane above the uh, vessel, so it may uh, bleed. This is a uh, slip bleeding. The another important technique is 
the hit and away technique. Uh, we should not activate uh, more than three times when you perform before this session. Three times is enough. Because uh, two of uh, not uh, the only uh, fat tissue uh, without injury to a uh, vessel. So you can dissect uh, safely. And more than three times activation uh, only can injure the pancreatic tissue summary like this. I will skip this video. Next one is uh, single port. I will skip many things about this because today uh, first topic and Dr. Choice already deal with this. We recommend uh, this uh, transparent uh, flexible glove port. It is convenient to perform uh, safely because uh, this port is very, very uh, uh, flexible, not rigid. This is a, a glove port uh, which is uh, consistent consists of uh, two pieces. Uh, this uh, white port, uh, port style is only two millimeter. So we cannot insert a uh, usual five millimeter instrument without assistant. So special tip to insert the, insert the instrument uh, easily uh, is to make a three uh, millimeter incision to the troca, uh, 12 o'clock, nine direction. Last one is reconstruction. Uh, reconstruction is uh, very, very uh, difficult, even in totally laparoscopic gastrectomy. I will explain the basic concept and consideration, and I will show you a video clip up to time limit. Uh, intracochlear anastomosis is a uh, technically demanding procedure, uh, uh, need very uh, steep running curve in conventional uh, multi-port uh, laparoscopic gastrectomy. Why uh, intracochlear anastomosis is technically uh, demanding procedure? Because I think uh, this is a, a delta strip anastomosis, which is a representative of intracochlear anastomosis. All the stapling is performed by our assistant. This is one business. We need a very skillful assistant, and we operate on uh, uh, some uh, patients. So, in order to solve this problem, we reported on ADS staple link closure method three years uh, ago, first time. In this uh, method, we don't need assistant in gastrointestinal reconstruction anymore. We can close the common atrial by ourselves uh, with the balancing between the far side and near side suture. This technique can be applied to all kinds of gastrointestinal anastomosis and jejunal jejunal stomach. But uh, sometimes it may uh, some of this uh, dobby or staple, uh, it can sometimes uh, make a problem. The mucosa and this uh, titanium staple here is exposed to the small bowel and peritoneal cavity. And it has a tendency of auditor. So we can uh, easily know when we reoperate this kind of patient. So this cross staple line is the most common cause of small bowel obstruction after long ingested bypass. So stapling closure of a common atrial is not recommended in bariatric surgery. Most uh, bariatric surgery a surgeon prefer suture closure of common atrial like this. So we now uh, change our intracorporeal method uh, from stapling to suture closing technique. So let me answer the question why intracorporeal anastomosis is technically a procedure because it is depend on our assistant. So I think if possible, the solution is we don't depend on our assistant. Do it by yourself after uh, simplification of technique. Another reason uh, is because intracorporeal suture is uh, needed for the easier suturing the anterectomy uh, should be consistent and buoyed up. Suture is good because we don't need an assistant to draw a, a thread. So I use the uh, uh, same technique uh, to all the gastrointestinal anastomosis, such as gastrojejunostomy, jejunostomy, gastrodiodenostomy, and aspargojejunostomy. Uh, first, uh, uh, 45 linear staple. Uh, for the anastomosis and the common atrial always close by prior suture. 
Jeju opening is made by this hoop cutting board, one stage like this. This is very important. So Shiroja margin is very clear. So with uh, this uh, small uh, opening, we can insert a uh, staple without assistance easily. Small opening is okay. You can insert this staple into the jejunum without assistance. Because the margin is very smooth, and we apply uh, some lubricant jelly to the staple. This is a concept of mucosa sprouting. Uh, Aspargus and duodenum has a very thick uh, uh, wall, so uh, we need a uh, two step to make an um, opening. So after 90 degree rotation, partial resection by 45 linear staple and cut by hammer scalpel, and this is a sprouting by gentle breasting. So we can uh, always find the true mucosa without uh, LQ guidance. This is a, a pulley suture uh, technique. After suturing, you just pull the thread against the grasp up, like pulley, like this. So we don't need to uh, grasp the thread, so it doesn't cause any injury to the thread. And it also gives safety feeling as hand tie or knot pusher. So finally, it enables to perform fast suture, almost the uh, same as uh, open suture technique. Because of time limitation, I will skip many part. This is a jejunal uh, jejunostomy first. After marking the proper area, and jejunal opening is made by a uh, full cutting mode. This uh, small uh, opening is enough to insert the staple. So jejunal jejunostomy first stapling is made, and this is a common entryo. It's caused by Borea suture. It's a corporate suture like this. Takes uh, five minutes and then get through the genostomy. It's also the same. But different uh, point is uh, we need a uh, two step to make a uh, uh, proper uh, gastric opening. And common anterior is also close by this uh, real suture. Same. This is a single port. Uh, for the time saving, uh, I usually perform extracorporeal jejunal jejunal stomach first and then uh, move to uh, intracorporeal gastro jejunal stomach like this. So, the method to make an opening into the stomach is like this. This is a first step to incise, incise uh, cirrhosa and muscle layer and fine grasping of the somicosia like this and apply the hook cutting mode one more time like this. So you can uh, find every time the true lumen like this and the opening size is not so big. So the common anterior size always the same. Always same. 2.5 cm. So uh, the stitch number is always say 7 stitch and 5 to 7 minutes. And this is a delta shape anastomosis. Uh, Duodenal transaction is uh, after marking the anterior wall like this and rotating duodenum 90 degree and resected by a uh, linear staple partially, like this, and transected by hammer scalpel, like this. So, because uh, this area is uh, temporarily closed, so there is no uh, bile leakage. After uh, resetting the stomach, uh, we can find uh, always uh, the true lumen, like this. So, 
Anastomosis technique is always the same. Body five are uh, region staple. Firing, gets through the uterostomy, and the common atrium is caused by real suture, like this. This is a, a final view. And as far as the uterostomy, it's also the same. As far as, uh, the as far as transaction is the uh, same as uh, the other transaction, marking the anterior wall of the esophagus like this, and 90 degree rotation, rejected by uh, linear staple, and <coughs> translated by Hamas pattern like this. Small opening, but it's okay. So, as far as the stomach is uh, performed without any assistance. Because uh, the uh, as far as stump is rotated 90 degree, so the common atria is uh, faced up to the uh, lateral side. So, it's very easy to uh, perform intracorporeal suture. The uh, suture technique is the same. And final one is a uh, uh, parallel uh, breathing gastrectomy. Uh, this is a very uh, difficult technique. Uh, uh, there is still no report on this technique. It is very difficult to save this uh, intra infra pyloric vessel properly in Singapore without restriction. Anyway, I uh, saved uh, this vessel and <coughs> resect the stomach like this and this is an unaided uh, steeple technique. So, just so this stomach is made. So, Again, okay, uh, these are my tips and tricks for easier and safer single-port gastrectomy. Uh, in summary, uh, nearly all kinds of laparoscopic gastrectomy procedure could be reproducible in single-port surgery, uh, currently available at the moment. Uh, we think SID with DM plus lymphosis section for early gastric cancer uh, has a similar operation time and better uh, short-term outcomes. So it can be an alternative treatment option in a specialized hospital. However, uh, SID with B2 section for advanced gastric cancer or single port portal gastrectomy, proximal gastrectomy, PPG, uh, is uh, feasible but uh, more difficult. So we need a more advanced instrument and technique uh, for the popularization through the uh, cooperation like this uh, conference. So I think uh, Singapore gastrectomy is still in its infancy. Uh, we need needed to long-term outcome uh, result is needed. However, uh, one thing for sure that patient uh, preference would be a minimal wound. So uh, Singapore surgery is one of the causes uh, approach it to the ideal concept of scarlet surgery. Thank you for your kind attention. Uh, thank you, Professor Ang's excellent talk. Those part is limited and only we have time over. So we move to the next, next section directly. You, and if you any questions about this, you can ask the uh, discuss Professor Ang and give you the right time. Thank you.